stop this do that hormone edition. If you are looking to balance out your hormones, uh, no matter what stage of life you are in, stop doing these things and I'm going to give you some better alternatives to do instead here. And these are really basic foundational places to start when it comes to hormones. So number one, stop drinking caffeine first thing in the morning. This is going to give you a, a, an unnatural cortisol spike that's going to trigger insulin response. Uh, and this is going to not only impact your cortisol levels, which is your stress hormone, but this is, can impact your sex hormones uh, and also your thyroid hormones in addition to this. So you can still have your coffee, you can still have your caffeine, have some breakfast first. Just wake up within about 30 to 60 minutes, try and have something for breakfast, ideally something protein and fat rich, definitely carbohydrate, carbohydrates can be really good here as well. And then drink your caffeine. If you need something warm in the morning, try some herbal tea, try some hot water with like lemon and honey. Um, you could do some bone broth for th first thing in the morning, that, that'll give you some of that protein in there right off the bat. Number two, stop doing crazy hit and cardio workouts. Once again, these things are going to spike your cortisol levels. And if you have hormone imbalances of any sort, your body is under stress and it's not being able to either produce enough hormones or, or the certain hormones and or we have too much of other hormones. And this really goes it back to stress inside and outside of the body and liver because the liver is filtering out excess. Stress has a lot to do with producing enough of certain hormones. And if we're adding on top of that stress with crazy hit workouts. And, and this is someone who used to do all of these workouts. I used to do fast cardio in the morning. I used to be an instructor for a crazy hard hit workout class. Please, please, please stop doing these. They are not helping you in your weight loss journey in feeling better and looking better uh, or balancing your hormones. Number three, stop taking random supplements that you find online. When it comes to hormones in particular, there's not that many supplements that can help with hormones. Once again, when it comes to hormone balance, the two most important things, and this is someone who is, once again, I've done all of these things. I've worked with hundreds of people who have been in this spot before. If your liver can't keep up in filtering out excess hormones, specifically estrogen and or testosterone, those are gonna be the two most common ones you're gonna have a really hard time balancing your hormones. Same thing with cortisol. Thyroid hormones, not quite as much, but cortisol for sure. And if your body's under a lot of stress, you're not gonna produce enough of one or more of your sex hormones, which is going to lead to an imbalance of some sort. If you supplement for those, which you can't really for the stress piece, we can address nutrient deficiencies for sure, Liver, certainly there are supplements. Castor oil packs are a really good one, but you you really can't out randomly supplement these things. Seed cycling can help for sure. Maca, yeah, kind of. You know, there's so many of these out there. Dim is a really common one. Address the big things first. If you've done every, literally everything else, if you've looked at bigger root causes, toxin overload issues, gut overgrowth issues, chronic viral issues, and you've addressed that, you, your nervous system is regulated, you feel very safe and, and comfortable in your body, and I'm talking like from an energetic standpoint, uh, an emotional and mental standpoint, yeah, maybe we can use some of these little supplements here, but by and large, they're not gonna move the needle a ton. Number four, stop restricting your eating. <laughs> Once again, if our body's under a lot of stress and we're not capable of producing enough hormones because we're super stressed, if our liver can't keep up, probably because it doesn't have enough nutrients, because most people are gonna be protein deficient, which protein plays a huge role in our liver and all of the things that our liver is responsible of doing and, and that nutrients and enzymes uh, and amino acids, all of these things that the liver needs. Stop focusing on just eating less and less and less fuel your body, get good protein, get good fat. Don't go too low carb, especially if you're a menstruating woman, like please don't go too low carb. Stop intermittent fasting, fuel and feed your body on a regular basis, help your body feel safe again. And these are going to make massive impacts on your hormones. So my question for you is which one are you going to start with and how are you going to implement that in your life?